Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got the most beautiful set to show you. I am so, so, so happy with how it came out. I am literally obsessed. I cannot stop staring at it. I literally just want to wear it and just never, ever, ever take it off. Um, I tend to have this kind of feeling with a majority of the sets I do to be honest but this one in particular I don't know has just blown me away it might just be a me kind of thing but maybe you guys would like it too just as much but yeah it's just like this gorgeous nude and deep purple kind of set I love how we did the 3d flowers in it we have some like a uh, marble effect on there, some butterflies, some crystals. I'm just so, so, so obsessed with how it came out. I can't wait for you guys to see the final results at the end. Here I'm showing you guys the gel polishes I'll be using. So I'm using the Makat, um white gel polish in the name blank which is, has literally become my absolute favorite white gel polish the purple we are using is from the company called rosalind and it's in the number b035 i'm showing you guys the 4d carving gel that i'll be using to create my gorgeous 3d flowers and i got it in the shade white so it's just one of those like really almost like play doughy kind of uh, gel so you can just kind of mold into whatever you want and it does not cure until you pop it into the lab and I've ordered a massive collection of those so I do have a video coming up of me kind of showing you guys what has come through and kind of like a review and show you guys different colors you can get and how they work so that is coming up very soon and so I decided to go in with that purple just on that index finger as you saw the, bo the bottle was very very little and to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of how little the bottle was, the consistency of the gel polish. I found it very sheer. It is one of those gel polish brands that I decided to give a try from AliExpress. And this is the first time, maybe the second time, that I've came across a company from AliExpress that just, it just wasn't it. When I was ordering it, I also was not aware how little it was going to come. I thought it was going to be a full-sized bottle. Unfortunately not. Um, the Venaliza gel polish that I'm using now, the nude colour, which is in the shade shade 51 um is also from aliexpress and it's absolutely amazing i love the consistency it levels out absolutely amazingly so it's i feel like just buying on aliexpress is a massive miss uh, like a hit and miss so when you are ordering always keep that in mind and you know sometimes just because a gel polish is working for me not might not always work for you but um, I do try and show you guys as much as I can the different brands I come across and I always try and order them because I know not everyone has a lot of money to be buying these branded, I don't know, £15 gel polish bottles where you can go on AliExpress and get one for about £1.50. So that's a massive price difference. And, you know, if the consistency is right and they're nice, then I see why not, why people wouldn't buy them. So this is a nude that i've been absolutely obsessed with um this one and i have one more nude that i am obsessed with which is also from aliexpress it's in the shade m17 and it's from the company called cloud beauty and those two are like my absolute go-to nudes right now this nude is more on like a darker side and the cloud beauty nude is much more on like the pale um a bit of a brighter kind of nude which is perfect so i have my two go-to's right now <laughs> until i run out and then if i can't get my hands on more then we're gonna have to opt for some new ones and um, but going back to the video we decided to put white on the pinky and then the remainder of the three nails which is the thumb the middle finger and the ring finger i decided to keep with the nude um and yeah so i am applying my second coat and then once that one goes into the lamp we are able to work on our nail design which is my favorite um i decided to use some butterfly stickers i have literally a massive massive collection of stickers and um every time i see them i think they're amazing idea if you know if you for a quick nail design if you don't want to do it any nail art they're always such an amazing idea but i just never find myself using them <laughs> i keep buying them but just never using them so i'm happy that i was able to at least use one sticker on the first five set of nails um so right now as you can see i've got my ring finger nail on me right now and i'm going in with a base coat layer and that's going to act like um sorry can't even talk today that's going to act as my blooming gel so if you have a blooming gel you can use that um i do have a blooming gel i don't know why i didn't use it but i decided to use a base coat because it kind of works the same um it definitely won't bloom as much as a blooming gel will but it does give that a little effect so i decided to just keep it almost like a side french thing going on with the way i placed that gel polish and here i'm just kind of tapping away a little bit just create that little like dispersion 
that's happening and just kind of help the gel polish do that. But I won't be popping that one into the lamp just yet because I want to let that base coat kind of do its job and just kind of like make it look a, look a bit more cloudy and as if it is kind of blending into the nail. So whilst that does its job, here I'm showing you guys my crystals and this is the purple crystal that kind of inspired the set. Um, it's kind of the reason I did this set. I really wanted to use that purple crystals. I got them from Shein in a massive haul I recently posted. And I um, all of those crystals are one size so I was wondering how I could incorporate those kind of crystals into my nail designs. And this is the nail design that worked fairly well. So I decided to pop that big purple crystal right in the middle of that pinky and then from each side of it uh, going right to the end of the nail I decided to pop crystals just random AB crystals I found and they're all the same size so we're not doing um, bigger smaller crystals they're all just the same size going down the nail and that's what that one looks like so that's going to be kind of it done before we pop some matte top coat on it that'll be the very last thing on that one so as you can see now, that ring finger has started to kind of nicely blend into the nail. I, off camera, went in with a nail cleaner and just wiped off that ring finger. Because whenever there's a sticky layer, the stickers don't really want to stick too well. So when you then go in with your top coat or your matte top coats or whatever you're doing on top of it, it kind of ends up lifting the sticker. So I went in, got off that sticky layer just to make sure that the sticker sticks on forever. And then we'll be able to go with our matte top coat. And the matte top coat that I'll be using in today's video is from Miley and it's just their matte uh, no wipe top coat. It came in a set of two. It came with a base coat and a matte top coat. I haven't yet properly tried the base coat. Right now I'm just trying to um, kind of <laughs> finish up my Venaliza base coat that I've been using forever it feels like now. Um, and yeah, I did used to use the Venaliza matte top coats, but I found that they very often and very quickly would end up almost like curing in the bottle and you'd end up with massive chunks of kind of like matte top coat in there, which would be annoying when you're trying to apply it onto the nail and you're just having chunks all over the nail of like cured gel. Um, I have realized that it's very slightly starting to happen with the Miley but it's very tiny little dots here and there like nothing too crazy it's quite rare that I brush on and I find some but it is happening but at least it's happening I don't know like two months down the line rather than it's happening a week after getting it so we've now applied some matte top coat on the ring finger the pinky and now we are also going to apply some on the index finger so with that index finger I decided to matte top coat it and just kind of leave it how it is just keep it almost like nice and simple because every other nail has something going on so I wanted to keep that one a bit on the simpler side. So now it's time for a thumb. Um, as you can see it looks a bit mad and that's just because I went in with a nail cleaner because I think I had some fluff on there so I just wanted to get rid of that one. I'm going in with my McCart rhinestone gel and I'm just applying it right at the top of the finger and the nail and I'm just going to place some crystals there so once again we're going to place a big purple crystal right in the middle right at the top and then followed by three AB crystals going from either side of that big purple crystal like I say I always like to call this almost like a nail tiara and once again we are using the same sized AB crystals on either side so we've got three on one side three on the other that's something I don't usually like to do normally I like to do like a bigger one followed by a smaller one and kind of follow down that pattern but this came out quite nice I'd say and I love how sparkly those crystals are both of those AB and purple crystals are not real crystals of any sort they're not Swarovski's they're just cheap AliExpress quality but I feel like they're still very sparkly I will be investing very soon into some proper sparkly crystals which I'm super excited for because I want to see how sparkly they really are and we can probably compare them to the AliExpress quality and check and kind of like compare the prices and see which one's more worth it and which one isn't kind of thing um but that will be an upcoming video that probably will be next month I reckon I have a few videos lined up for this month now so now I'm just applying some matte top coat just to finish that nail off and whilst it's in the lamp we are gonna pop some rhinestone glue right in the middle of that nail which is the middle nail and we're going to pop that purple crystal right there and then it's gonna go into the lamp because we need it cured as I kind of just don't want it moving around when I'm popping my 3D carving gel. So this is it. 
this is what it looks like. What I do is I take my dotting tool, uh, make sure you wipe it so it's, there's no fluffs in there or anything. Um, I scoop up as much as I'd like, I pop it onto the palm of my hand and make sure you're using gloves. And then using my other hand with my finger, I just kind of create a little ball and that's kind of it. I go in with my silicone tool into some nail cleaner liquid and that's just simply because that way it kind of doesn't stick to the ball which is nice and just kind of lets me mould it the way I want it. And then at an angle I'm just kind of pushing down and creating a petal and it's super easy guys. I have always wanted to learn how to do the acrylic flowers and it has been something I've I still want to do but I've tried once and it was a complete flop I'm not very good with acrylics in the first place anyways let alone doing like 3d flowers so this is an amazing alternative you have literally all the time in the world to play about with this it does not cure until you pop it into the lamp which is literally amazing I don't know why you wouldn't want, want to do this um even though acrylic might be quicker for people who are already like into acrylics and if you're if you've already got acrylics on you and you're doing a set for someone it obviously makes more sense to just carry on using that and not just getting your hands into more products but for people like doing press on nails or just someone like I said who just has no acrylic experience this is a perfect alternative I get those ones in particular this is the first brand I've ever tried and I did get them on AliExpress and they are super cheap about one pound something for those and it honestly will last you forever and I often <laughs> often when they don't work out when I do a pattern I don't like it I literally take my dotting tool scrape it off the nail and then just redo a ball and try it again so it's amazing that you can just kind of do that and it's not just set in stone because that would be a massive shame if you are not experienced to kind of ruin your nail like that it would be such a shame so this is really nice nice little alternative so for the middle finger I decided to do five petals um you can do four, you can do more. Um, I just kind of wanted the whole nail to be flowers. So I decided to do a fairly big chunky flower right in the middle um, where that purple crystal is. Just tap it down and then once it goes into the lamp and it comes back out, we're going to pop more purple crystals and more flowers just to cover the whole nail. And I'm so obsessed. This was also the first time I kind of ever done a flower right in the middle of the nail. And I was really nervous because even though it's easy to use those, it's still... Sometimes I feel like I do mess it up, so I was a bit concerned, but luckily it came out really nice. Because usually when I do a flower, I kind of do a half flower on either side of a nail. So I'll do like three petals or maybe two petals and never a whole full flower. So it's nice that it came out looking quite cute, not gonna lie. So here is where I'm placing my two additional purple crystals where we're gonna put some more flowers. It has gone into the lamp and then for those I decided to only do two petals on each. So for the top crystal we're doing it on the left hand side kind of like going in and then on the bottom crystal we're going to pop the petals on the right hand side. So I'm doing that now and for this one I decided to do the balls first. That's also another thing you can do the balls first before um, I do some when it comes to that big uh, flower in the middle I did want to do one at a time just because you never know how big they'll come out those petals and you don't know how many balls you might need but when you are doing those two little petals you kind of you kind of know that will be fine and even if the was slightly too big you can just slightly press it down just enough to make it look like a little petal and not take up too much space and we're going to do that exact same thing in the bottom crystal as well just like we did at the top bit pop that down and that nail would be good to go and then once we do that we are going to go in with our matte top coat and just kind of um, go around those petals because as you can see the petals kind of cure in a matte kind of texture I wonder if you could make them glossy if you went over it with a glossy top coat but I haven't tried that just yet but that could be a shout if that's what you wanted to do but I think I quite like the way it looks right now so once it goes into the lamp we will be going in with a Miley and I believe that's the last nail now that we need to matte top coat so we are going to try and avoid the flowers avoid the crystals and just try and go around as much as possible on that nude um, gel polish to matte top coat it and then that will be the nail done I absolutely am obsessed with how this set came out mainly probably because of that flower nail I think it came out so gorgeous I'm obsessed with it love it love it love it I hope you guys like it too you will probably find me doing more and more of these kind of 3d flowers because that has been something I've just kind of been wanting to reach out more for I feel like they just kind of elevate your nail designs and once again they're just I just really believe they're so easy to use and anyone can use them if I could with zero experience I'm sure all of you guys will be able to as well so I'll show you guys in just a second what it looks like and here it is this is what the nail looks like matte I hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys